In FPV, you have two types of drones. You have analog and you have digital. Well, I made the wrong mistake and it cost me hundreds of dollars. And I wanna help you so that you don't make the same mistake. Now, let's start off with analog. Analog is cheaper and it tends to be a lot easier to set up. But analog has some major drawbacks. One, the quality is not as good. And two, the range isn't nearly as good. I remember this one time when I was flying my analog drone in a densely forest. The grainy feed and the sudden signal drops were not just annoying, but they led me to miss an important shot. This is where I made the big mistake and it cost me hundreds of dollars. That was picking analog when I started. Now, I knew that I was going to get into FPV seriously. I was going to be flying every day and this was going to be a hobby and a career for me. Now analog isn't that bad to start out if you're not serious, but if you're serious with FPV, then I would say you need to go digital. Now digital has some amazing quality. The quality of digital is unbeatable compared to analog. And the range that you get out of the box with digital is seriously incredible. But there are some downsides. Digital usually isn't as reliable. Now, if you've flown both, then you'll know what I mean. Digital feels like when you're flying, it starts to get choppy. Think of it as if you're watching a video. The further you get away from your signal, the choppier it's going to get. But whereas on the opposite with analog, it won't get choppy, but it gets more grainy. I know it's hard to explain. Now for me, digital isn't that much of a problem because I can know when it's getting choppy and I can fly right back. Now, in my opinion, digital beats analog any day because of the quality, the range, and just the simplicity of flying. When you're flying digital, it feels like you're in the moment and it feels like you're there. With analog, it still feels like you're flying a drone. You don't feel like you're actually there in the drone. Now, to sum it up, there's a few reasons why you might wanna stick with analog and why you might wanna stay with digital. Think of digital as a nice sports car. You love the drive. You don't just care about going from point A to point B. Whereas analog, on the other hand, is like the soccer mom's minivan. It gets you from point A to point B. It's not the prettiest, and it's not going to have all the bells and whistles. If you're serious about getting into FPV, then I really think that you should get digital. Digital will be a whole lot more fun. It'll save you money in the long term. And on top of this, digital is going to give you a better flying experience. Now, if you're not going to dive in deep and spend a lot of money on this, if you're just going to be using FPV on the weekends and it's not a serious thing for you, then I would go with analog. It'll be cheaper and you can still have fun and fly but it's not going to give you the full on best experience. Now digital has been the best thing for FPV since I started. I love the quality of it and it's seriously unbeatable. You can't get anything different from this. Now, if you do go the digital route, you can do some hacks with your goggles and get some crazy range with these. I'm Zane Shaw and keep flying.